Hello everybody and welcome to Dungeon Master for Hire. My name is Professor Pui and I will be your Dungeon Master for this video. In today's video, we'll be covering the Rural Farm expansion set that has been added to Tailspire in their latest update. Stay tuned if you want to know more about the creatures, tiles and interactable objects added into this game. Okay, and so we jump into the game. As you can see, these are all the assets lined up uh, that have been added to the game. Uh, starting with the um, asset tiles here, you can see that they're hardwood tiles, as they're wooden and squared lined. Uh, we have uh, various floor tiles, various additives, and one of the additional things they added, which uh, when I checked the page wasn't mentioned, they added a trap door a wooden trap door uh, for a combination of barn, which is great. We could always use it more styles of trap doors and uh, double trap door, which is great. And we have all these here for the woods. Then we have the staircases. Now we have wooden staircases with armrests going up. Uh, we have the platforms here on the side, and you can make them as long as you want. You can make them three space or whatever you would choose to make them. And we have the ceiling tiles. Uh, as you can see, we have the open and the non-open brackets, and the middle ones. We have some chimneys to use. Uh, I saw uh, a YouTuber uh, make uh, a toilet uh, with the chair, uh, clipping this part of the chimney with a with throne. Uh, put a picture up, and uh, we have more more stuff here. Like additionally to the objects that have been added for creation and putting them together we could make this small two-story hut as you can see here using most of the assets that um, are new that were brought uh, using the double door because we don't have a double door farm we have a double door dungeon but that'll do and we can do like indoor balconies that we love using in some taverns so I'll be able to now make taverns with like a balcony going down instead of trying to use the uh, wooden fence. And that's most of the tiles for creation. And then we have six additional prompts added to the game. Um, most of them being signs. We have uh, upwards of seven signs that have been added. Uh, these are generics. These are post signs uh, generally ascending a direction and then we have uh, the town signs where you could you know put a sign of a shop or owner keeper and stuff like that these are non interactable but I would like if they had like a Minecraft feature where you should uh, interact with it and the name could appear like if you hold tab the name appears above it like if it were a character name that would be good to keep just a few things in gear and if the players look for like, oh, this is the the gray sheep or whatever name you n name you place these things, that could be one of the things. And additional to that, they added another uh, two props: the well and the wheat birch as uh, additional props for the rural farm. Uh, those were the tile assets and props added to the game. And then we have the creatures. We have five animal creatures added to the farm just to expand on the availability of creatures a druid could turn into. <laughs> so, yeah, so we have a pig, a brown cow, a goat, a chicken, and a hen. Chicken, rooster, hen, all that combination. And just animals that have been added to the game. They're additional pieces, they're good tokens. We could always use a bit more. And besides these five animal creatures that have been added, we have the giant that was added to the game, the Etten, the two-headed uh, dumb giant. They're, they're not known for being smart, they're known for being dumb, always fighting between each other, and a fun addition to the game. We could use a one-headed giant that is not a cloud giant, but we, we will take this uh, for now. 
we love every piece and we know making a character takes forever so this is highly appreciated that we're getting another character piece to play with and so that is the rural expansion set as you can see um, it's a bit smaller than the um, than the expansions that we received for the previous one which was the the altar <sighs> The expansion set number three, which was the the seas, uh, the short, the harbor, the harbor set, where it, a it added a lot of harbor decorations, a lot of interactables. They added an altar, more bones and bodies and stuff like that. Uh, this one was more of a smaller expansion when it came to the amount of assets, but a very, a very needed and acceptable assets. So, uh, and also. One of the things they added was a sound. They added an ambient sound here, which is uh, Farm a Day. Pull that up. It is here. Yep. There you are. You can hear the cow, you can hear the birds chirping, the chicken in the background. So this is a very good addition for exploration whenever you go to a farm and the links. Now we have a bit more of ambiance for the players. So, with that, that was the expansion set. I hope you guys find this informative. It is a short video. Uh, no need to go into detail on things that aren't here. I was expecting the, the next expansion to be the desert since they showed in livestream some desert tiles and stuff like that. But I'm guessing that'll be reserved for the next batch update. But this is good, and for now, um, that is everything that was released in that rural expansion pack. If you have any questions or want to know more, please leave one comment below. I'll read through everything and answer uh, as accordingly as possible. I, that's it for today. I hope this was informative and have a good one. And as always, be happy, kill some dragons. <laughs> Class is dismissed.